Hello everybody, 4star here, back at it again with another video here. This time it is it is week one of NCAA 07 Modern Dynasty here. Um, we got Connecticut and UMass here, and hopefully I can do well. Um, Connecticut got some good uniforms, man. Uh, they got some good uniforms, and we're playing against UMass at UMass. I thought we were playing at home for our first game, but it looked like we we're playing in Massachusetts here. So hopefully we can get a dub here. Um, and take and take out an FCS team so we get uh, you know look give a little bit of a you know Something good for the uh, for the recruits here. So let's get into it All right, so yeah week one here and we're ready to kick this one off. We're here in Massachusetts and uh, I originally thought that this was a home game for us But uh, I forgot probably forgot to turn it off and uh, you can already see Number 26, he goes off to the right hash, and he burns us for our very first play of the dynasty. So that isn't as fun as we thought it would be. Power option there, and we give it to Camp. He gets a first down on uh, our first play of a scrimmage. Uh, number 15 appears to be injured on the play. I believe this is second down. Reynolds throws it right to Tucker. He gets a big first down. And uh, it's looking smooth so far in this drive. Reynolds dropping back. Throws another dot to Dollar. And Dollar gets a good first down. It wasn't as much of a dot as I wanted it to. But Dollar, he has a hustle, man. He has the hustle. Reynolds, he's going in for the uh, power. The power option. He, he fumbles the ball at the one-yard line. And it looked like we can't get a break uh, today if you're going to see the full video. But... Our first points in our very first dynasty is a safety. Number two, man. That was a great play by him. Um, and we get two points on the board. But our drive that's coming up uh, from the safety punt, it was not good, man. We took we took a sack, dropping back again, looking, looking for the play to develop. And bam, we got hit in the face once again. Fourth down and 26 was the end of that drive. We had to punt the ball. And number five, man, you're going to be seeing his number a lot because he was eating us up this game. Uh, here's another one. He runs right up the uh, right hash, breaks a tackle, and we got a sorry secondary, man. That's why I said we got to go get these guys from uh, from our recruiting because these, these cats, man, they can't cover. If they like depended on it, obviously you can see right there. Ain't complete, just close enough. He didn't get a foot in, but they give it them before, and he gets inside the five, man. Just got some poor coverage on the play, man. Might be a little bit of my fault or that. I'm just cheeks at the game. But here we go, third and goal situation. Number five, and we get him right behind the line, and we get a good goal line stand here. And uh, I just found out uh, just a little bit earlier from my last video that uh, these rosters here are from uh, the update updated um, rosters from NCAA 14. And Connecticut is actually replaced by Charlotte, the 49ers. So we kind of like the Charlotte Huskies, right? kind of funny but we, uh, you know fuck it we ball right F it, we ball uh, another sack just another day uh, with our offensive line finally we get down the field and we throw it to Duke Boss and he can't catch the ball man man we got some butterfingers on this offense man it feels like we just can't get anything done number 10 dropping back doesn't get a good drop back. He only drops back about two feet. And he gets sacked by Watts, man. And let me tell you something. We got a good... I feel like we have a good defensive line. Maybe it's just because we're facing off against the FCS, FCS team. But it feels like we got something going. Here we go. Wardlow. Big sack there. Shout out to Wardlow, the wrestler, man. He is a big hog molly. Boy, I'm telling you, man. Third and nine. Reynolds drops back. We got the balls, but he's just short. He finally brought his hands to work today. We go forward on fourth down, man. I'm feeling a little bit special today. And we give it right to our boy, the boss. He's got the first down. Big play here by him. It's it's almost the uh it's almost halftime there. Giving it to Spencer. Spencer, he takes a big hit, but we get the first down. We're just trying to get in uh in the in the red zone so we can try to score here. We throw a deep ball. It looks like the boss again. The boss gets a ball in between. I look like two impact players right there, man. 
one. Man, that's our guy, man. Number, he's our number one, man. He might be number 14 in the program, but he's number one in our hearts, man. And we get down to the uh, to the what one yard line. Give it to Bird. Easy touchdown. We're back into the game. It's now what nine to ten at halftime. And we're trying to bounce back here. Uh, that was a very very tough half for us. We get the ball in the second half, and our, that's our boy Dollar again. He gets a lane, switching up, he goes down the field. Ain't nobody catching us. And just like how they did us in the first half, we do them in the second. That's a big touchdown there by Dollar, and we finally take the lead, 15 to 10. Extra point makes it 16. Quarterback number 10 dropping back once again. Only a two-step drop back. He's gonna have to improve on that when he go back down to FCS level. We give a big sack by him. I think that was our third or fourth sack today. Looking back again, good coverage, and that's a big coverage sack. Finally, we get some coverage on the play, but. As you, as you can tell by the length of this video, it is not over yet. So, we're going to have to keep going. Bird gets a nice catch on third down, trying to get the first, and he grabs it blatantly, drags him on the floor with that face mask penalty. So, we're going to get some yards on that one. First down, and keeps the drive alive, trying to get some more points on the board so we can show the recruits that, hey, we got a little bit of something here. Uh, for our dynasty, for our team, for this program. Dollar, another big catch, man. Off the slant route, off the right. Had a little bit of separation. Threw a little bit behind him, but a catch is a catch. So now it's first and goal, man. We're trying to get into the end zone. Reynolds pitches the ball a little bit too late there. Gives it to Bird. And he tries to get a little bit of yardage, man. He's not the fastest cat in the world. Reynolds dropping back once again. Throws it right to our tight end carrier, and he gets the touchdown. We get another touchdown there. It is 22 to 10. Extra point makes it 23. And number five, once again, running the ball, man. He is going to be tough on us, man. He's going to be on our butts today. 30 inches, and our boys. Warlow, he is not done yet. Another sack for our boy, man. And that makes it a fourth down. Third quarter is about to end. And that's our boy Warlow, man. I'm loving, I'm loving our defense so far in this game, man. But we just can't get it done. We can't shut them down. So I'm trying to shut them down here. Carrier with a nice catch there. Unbelievable guy, man. I, lo I love the way he plays, man. Power option here, Reynolds. Pitch play to Bird. Oh, and he's trying to look for that strip again, man. You got to watch out for, for this impact play, man, because he's always trying to strip the ball. So second and 10, and Reynolds is all by himself. Gets a nice little safety slide so he can get that first down. So second and 10 here. Reynolds drops back, finds DuBose once again. And we're looking good here, man. But I make a mistake here. Third and goal here, and I just throw it right in front of them. And that leaves us just to get the three points here. Cruz, accurate kick, goes right through the uprights. And now it is 26 to 10. It is a 16 point game, but number 10 wants to change that as he throws it right to number 81. Bobbles it, gets the ball, and that is a horrible pursuit by number 10 as he gets a one play touchdown. And it was a record. So yeah, coach is telling them to go for two. It is technically a two possession game. So that's what they do. Offset our formation. Number 10 to number 14. And Bima just gets the shoestrings just to stop him from getting that two point conversion. So it's it's about 125 left. Reynolds dropping back. Looking. Almost intercepted. Caught by Dollar. But then the free safety again. Again, gets another strip off of a big hit. And this linebacker looks like he's about to take it all the way back. And he does. Touchdown. And now it is a four-point game. Well, now it's a three-point game because they got the extra point. That was the worst onside kick I've ever seen. And then he had the audacity to give us a 15-yard base mask. So, obviously, we take that and we absolutely do nothing with it. Last play of the game. And they have a chance, right? So number 10 is in the pocket. He's waiting. He has all day to throw. Finally throws it to number 87. It looks like he has a lane. Martinez can't get him. But it looks like, I believe that was uh, number four. That might have been Dollar or somebody there. Single digit number. But we finally get it. We get our first win of the dynasty against UMass. A little uh, cross-state rival. And we're happy, man. We get a big win. 
and we definitely needed that so we can start off our dynasty in the right foot man and hopefully the recruits were a little bit impressed by this game now i know it's an fcs team so hopefully we can get something better and give them a little bit more of a reason to come to our school and as you can see here, we got our first ESPN Classic, and I'm, pre I'm pretty sure that's going to change. Reynolds, 14-24, a touchdown in there. Shadrick Bird also getting a couple of yards there um, uh, and a touchdown. Grant DuBoss was a boss, four receptions. Uh, Carrier with the touchdown. We can't forget about Dollar. Um, we had some studs on defense as well. Three sacks for Wardlow, man. What a beast, man. I think we have five in total. So it was a big game there. All right, so let's go ahead and see the stats for the end of the week. All right, so we played our game against UMass a little bit closer than I would have thought it would be. It looked like we were commanding the game, and then we just kept making uh, big mistakes that got UMass back in the game. But we got a win there, so we all good. Let's take a look at the top 25. We got Alabama. Uh, beating Cal, we got Ohio State barely beating Minnesota in a Big Ten game. Uh, Clemson loses to South Carolina. Florida State beating Florida in a it looked like a, a defensive affair. Georgia Tech beating Georgia. Uh, Iowa State out. They just clowned Iowa there. Um, so they're gonna beat them and get the Cyhawk Trophy. Louisville beating Kentucky. Uh, USC trouncing over Notre Dame. LSU uh, beating Tulane, Texas uh, destroying Arkansas, West Virginia uh, losing to Maryland in a, in a huge fashion. So they're they're basically going to be out of the uh, top 25. Um, Nebraska and Oklahoma play a drag out battle, 17-15 looked like the score was. Uh, Arizona State being Vanderbilt, uh, Auburn beating Purdue, Miami beating Toledo, and in a thriller. And in overtime, NC State pulls the upset against Tennessee. All right, so recruiting. Um, we got some recruiting to do. And um, we got 100 points. So we got a lot of guys here. Um, not pre Pretty much not going to waste my time with some of these guys here. But we got some guys that are in our top five here. Um, we're not going to waste our time pretty much on the quarterback here. Pretty sure Jimmy Johnson is not really interested in us. He's in like outside layer. Uh, we got Sean Brown. He's the middle linebacker. Really not interested in us. Corey Berg. Um, he's from Florida. Free safety. B hands. I'm going to put 10 on him. I know he's not that much interested in us. But let's see if we can put the time in. Excuse me. Um, Patrick Clark. He's got us in our top five. So I'm definitely going to gun for him. That's 15 points right there. Um, my immediate playing time is not important to him. And that's good because um, I'm pretty sure that our tight end is a sophomore or junior. So he might be coming for next year. So hopefully we can get uh, him on there. Doesn't care about coaching philosophies, but he's in our top three. I mean, I throw 10 at him. That's cool. That's cool. I'm with that. We got... We got a guy that's outside top five, Kitchener, Connecticut. He likes uh, that we allow the quarterback to run as well as throw the ball. That's good. I'm um, pretty sure your 40 time isn't showing us that you could run, but I'm going to throw 10 at you. I'm going to throw 15 at you because we actually do need a quarterback. And hopefully you could come home to Connecticut, buddy, because uh, we really need you here. Uh, we got a guy, New Brunswick, just up the road from me. 640 squad, man. He could jump. Um, I'll put 10 on him. We got Galloway. He's on our outer layer. Colvin. He's on our outer layer. Uh, Travis Jones. He's not familiar with our reputation. Well, get familiar, buddy, because we need you on the team. That's 10 points, buddy. Uh, free safety. He's in our top five. Throw some 10 at him. This is a good list, man. This is a really good list. He has no clue what the major in. He has A plus field awareness for 540. Squat 670, man. He's in a he's in the outlet. I'm I, I said I was gonna ignore him, but I'm gonna throw 10 at him. I'm gonna throw 10 at him and see what he does. And we're gonna see what these guys look like, man. Some of these other guys, not really interested. 
not really interested so I'm not really gonna deal with those guys but these guys right here man these guys could be the future man um uh Derek Bailey he's from Connecticut now six four two hundred not that bad throw accuracy a little bit shaky man but we gotta take what we gotta take right now arm strike a field awareness B we might we might get somebody even better in the in the um in the postseason recruiting but yeah that's what it's looking like right now for recruiting man that is what it's looking like for recruiting all right so uh come on board next week come on board next week we got um we got connecticut we got rhode island coming up um we're playing them at home it was a close one last week but hopefully we can get it done and show some of these guys that hey we got some talent here man and then we got fresno state next week so hopefully you guys come and watch and uh thank you guys for watching and uh we'll see you in the next video